So what do you say we spend a little time in the garden today? All right, all right, all right. Today, it's pretty wet out here, but I think it's a good time to talk about weeds. So in a previous video, I think a video I did a week or so ago, I was going around to all my 10 different plots here and then we were talking about what our plans were for spring, what we we're gonna plant in each plot. And we had several people comment on that video referring to how many garden plots we have, how large our garden is total, which is about a quarter acre of garden. A lot of people comment and saying, man, how do you keep up with the weeds? How do you weed all that and keep it so clean? You know, I'd never be able to do that. I'd never have time to manage that much garden and really be able to keep it weeded and everything. And it got me thinking, maybe some folks got it all wrong. So instead of thinking about the weeds themselves, how are you gonna have time to fight all these weeds? How are you gonna have time to remove all these weeds? You need to be thinking about the weed seed bank. Okay, so the weed seed bank is the reservoir of weed seeds that you have in your garden plot. So if you have a large amount of weed seeds in your weed seed bank, when temperatures warm up, when you know you've got some rain coming you're going to have a huge explosion of weeds and that's going to really really increase your workload in your garden however if we can keep that weed seed bank to a minimum there's not a whole lot of weeding to do because there weren't any weed seeds there to germinate so don't think about the weeds think about the weed seed bank so here's a little example i thought of that might help this make more sense so imagine you go to a health coach or a fitness instructor and say, hey man, I wanna lose some weight. I consume 5,000 calories a day. My problem is I just don't have enough time in the day to do that much exercise to burn 5,000 calories. And so I'm always consuming more calories than I have time to burn. Well, what do you think that fitness coach or that health instructor is gonna say? They're probably not gonna sit there and try to come up with crazy ways for you to burn more calories. The easy solution would be, you know, don't consume as many calories. You don't have as many to burn, as many to worry about. You know, simple solution there. Kind of the same thing with weeds here. If we are doing things that are making us have a huge, big weed seed bank or weed seed reservoir, I mean, we're gonna drive ourselves crazy trying to always weed and keep up with the weed growth in our gardens but if we can do things to manage that weed seed bank and keep that reservoir of weed seeds low it's going to make life a lot easier on us so if we understand that controlling the weed seed bank is one of the key or primary ways to success in managing weeds in the vegetable garden now let's think about how do we control that weed seed bank what things are going to contribute to it and then how are we able to actually reduce that weed seed bank? So there are a few factors that are gonna add weeds to weed seeds to the weed seed bank that we cannot control. One of them being animals, you know, birds and other animals pooping out weed seeds that they're eating into our garden plots. We can't really control that. Now that's not gonna be a significant contribution, but one thing to consider that we really cannot control. The other one we can't control is the wind. Wind is gonna blow whether you want it to or not. And unless you're growing in a high tunnel or inside a greenhouse, you can't stop the wind from blowing weed seeds into your garden plot. Now what we can do is make sure our grass or whatever we have is cut pretty low around our garden plots so there's not a lot of weed seeds to be blown into the garden plots. You can see I haven't done a great job of that right here. We've got this poana which is seeded out and if the wind blows it can easily blow those seeds into my garden plot there if i were to cut this down real close to the ground we wouldn't have near as many weed seeds here that can blow into our garden so we can do some things to minimize the contribution by the wind but certainly cannot eliminate wind and animals adding to our weed seed bank so we've got those couple contributions that we can't really do anything about. But now I'm gonna tell you the three things 
which are really easy to do, that you can do to minimize or reduce your weed seed bank in your garden plots. So tip number one on how to reduce your weed seed bank is to not let weeds go to seed. Now I haven't done the greatest job of this in my onion plot. So we got some of this poana here and some chickweed that has obviously gone to seed. So how do we not let weeds go to seed? Well, the easiest way for us is to use what we call frequent shallow cultivation. So, you know, right now is not a great example because it's just been too wet to get in here. But we try to come in our gardens at least once a week, whether they look like they need it or not, and just lightly disturb that first inch or two of soil. And that's going to eliminate weeds while they're in their small thread-like stage when they're a lot easier to eliminate as opposed to when they get large like this, mature, and are seeding and are a lot harder to eliminate. So if we do some frequent shallow cultivation, weeds never get very big, they never go to seed. Now, some people prefer to mulch their gardens and put down straw or wood chips or whatever. You're gonna reduce weeds that way, but you're definitely not gonna eliminate all weeds. And so when you do get weeds, you wanna go in th through there and manually pull them before they go to seed like this. Now, if you do let a few slip by you like this right here, what you definitely don't want to do is come in here with a tiller and till this into the soil because all you're doing is contributing to that weed seed bank. So you want to come in and remove these, whether it be using the wheel hoe and then taking a rake and uh, getting them out of here. Whatever you need to do, don't leave this in your soil. If you're hand pulling it or if you're raking it out of here, don't cultivate these weed seeds back into your soil because they will stay there and they will become a problem later. So. The easiest way, number one, don't let weeds go to seed. The second way to easily reduce your weed seed bank is by using cover crops. Lots of different great options out there as far as cover crops go, cool season, warm season cover crops. What cover crops do, in addition to reducing erosion and scavenging nutrients and adding nitrogen, is they help to break those weed growth cycles. When we plant them thick, like you see right here, they cover the ground, they make a mat over the ground, and they're gonna keep those weed seeds from germinating and thriving. You know, the weed seeds may germinate, but because there's no light there, these things, this cover crop is pretty much just covered the top of the soil. They're not gonna thrive, they're not gonna grow much, and they'll probably just die. You see, weeds, and pretty much all plants, have growth cycles where when certain environmental cues happen, it triggers their growth and they wanna grow in a certain amount of time. They wanna make seed reproduce and just continue this growth cycle because the goal of that weed is just to continue to reproduce. But if we can break some of those growth cycles by using cover crops here, we can really, really reduce our weed seed bank and our weed growth. So. Cover crops work great for preventing new weeds from forming, and they also work great for reducing an existing weed seed bank and kind of getting it down to manageable numbers. And the third way to reduce your weed seed bank, and this is probably easiest of all three, is to use these silage tarps right here. These are a very, very effective tool at reducing your weed seed bank pretty simple concept here so we have a black tarp the thickness on these is six mil and these are impenetrable to light impenetrable that's a tough word to say right so light cannot penetrate these guys they're also going to create a somewhat moist environment underneath that mat where your garden plot is so that moist environment will stimulate those weed seeds that are present to germinate but once they germinate there's no light there and they're just going to immediately die so we can really really kind of knock down our weed seed bank with these tarps you can also you know even magnify the effectiveness of the tarp by doing what we call a tarp and till program where we till the soil 
we put the tarp down we let all those weed seeds that are in that top soil layer germinate then die we pull the tarp back we till it again to kind of reshuffle the weed seed deck there let those weed seeds germinate and die and we can do that three or four times and you just be amazed at how low your weed pressure will be when you do get around to growing vegetables in a plot like this so the tarp is a super easy way to do it and um, doesn't take much we have sandbags in our kits that hold them down you can use bricks to hold them down and you just kind of set it and forget it with the exception maybe pulling it back and kind of stirring up the soil every now and then to get more of those weed seeds to germinate so instead of thinking about or worrying about how you're going to have time to weed your garden every week and how you're going to deal with all these weeds think about what you can do to prevent from having so many weeds in the first place and like i said three easy ways to do this don't let existing weeds go to seed use some cover crops in your rotation and utilize those silage tarps and all three of those things in conjunction will drastically reduce your weed seed bank we have a lot of people all the time ask us how do we keep these gardens clean and they're not perfect but we try to keep them relatively clean and there's no big secret it's not that tough when you reduce your weed seed bank and you don't really have to be out here all the time weeding you know we just go through these plots once a week for one of these little thousand square foot plots it takes maybe 10 minutes a week to weed these when we really take care of our weed seed bank so if you're new to gardening or maybe you've been gardening a while and you never really thought about weed pressure in terms of the weed seed bank and you have some more questions definitely put those in the comments below and i'll try to answer them for you and if some of you out there have been really really successful using one two or all three of these techniques to reduce your weed seed bank let us know how it worked out for you so all of our people that are watching can learn from you as well I'll put some links below to our wheel hose, cover crops, and silage tarps so you can start utilizing all three of these steps in your garden. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that bell so you get notified every time we come out with a new video. And if you did enjoy this video, check out these other two videos right here. I think you'll really enjoy those as well. We'll see you next time.